With respect to AHEAD 345, um, it's conducted as a public-private partnership between Alzheimer's Clinical Trial Consortium, or ACTC, uh, funded by the National Institutes of, Health, uh, of Aging, which is a part of the National Institutes of Health, uh, as well as AZI. The AHEAD 345 is a platform study consisting of two clinical trials to test lecanemab in preclinical AD populations with dosing regimens tailored to baseline brain amyloid PET levels. The A45 participants are cognitively normal individuals with elevated amyloid in the brain as assessed by amyloid PET centiloid values, while A3 participants are cognitively normal with intermediate brain amyloid as assessed by amyloid PET centiloid values. A3 is the first clinical trial in early preclinical AD, while A45 is the first clinical trial using an anti-amyloid antibody against aggregated forms of A-beta for secondary prevention in sporadic preclinical AD. The HEAD345 study will be conducted in the United States, Japan, Canada, Australia, Singapore, and Europe, and we've currently enrolled over 100 subjects to date into the A3 and A45 studies. The goal is that positive results in, in the Clarity AD study could potentially lead to another anti-amyloid treatment option for patients with early AD. While the goal for positive result in the HEAD345 studies is that it might potentially lead to the first treatment opportunity for preclinical patients who are on the AD continuum with amyloid pathology but who do not have clinical symptoms. In addition to generally providing hope for patients and caregivers, positive results would support the hypothesis that rapid and deep elimination of amyloid plaque and soluble aggregated amyloid species can slow disease progression of in AD. It would also provide evidence that AD is tractable and it would support initiatives for early diagnosis of AD and the identification of people at risk.